Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the Long War Run. Legendary Iron Man uh, Long War has finally come upon us. Operation Bless the Breath, uh, which is a funny name. I think someone used a lot of uh, mouthwash on that very day when Bradford came up with Bless Breath. We got 10 to 12, so it's a bit stronger as a defense uh, this time not seven to nine that also means we're going to have a bit more experience on the team but we got a nice team of lance corporals and just one squaddy uh, specialist templar technician and gunner good combination and might as well uh, launch with that team all right, mission starts. Uh, so, smash and grab. Resistance has discovered a uh, vulnerable advent storehouse full of valuable supplies and resources. Break in, grab whatever you can and get out of here. And we got 12 turns for that. The extraction zone is like at the very other end of the map. Okay, thank you, I suppose, for that because now uh, there's only way, uh, one way, which is forward. I'm double moving deliberately. We could theoretically uh, use teamwork to get us uh, back. All right, Jarangs. This high ground here looks good. And our gunner moves up as well. That's going to be a tough mission. 12 rounds is not a lot. Not a lot at all. Hawkbite leads the charge. Grandiose. Well, You're going to be all right. that's our teamwork gone. A righteous strike. And Hawkwhite is charging in like a madman. There we go. Good job. Triggering the entire. Uh, the entire map. I think at the moment Hogbite is the only one that they can see, so a protocol on him. He's in full cover. Group good. I'm you here. Moving up to another full cover location. We killed two of them with very, very decent damage rolls, but also lost loot in the process. Let's move to here. That's non-flankable and full cover. And we got a protocol. Okay, cool. Moves up. Fifty fifty did not get him. Unfortunately, can't get the other guy. I would like to get these civilians here for extra re rewards. Yep, 
Low chance of hitting us. Of course. Raising hit, not great. Suppressing this guy. And Hogbite needs some good cover. That is full cover, but he could move up and flank him. This is full cover, could move up here and flank and flank. I was actually hoping that we would kill him. Don't have Blade Storm yet, so that's the best we can do. There is the flank. Well, he hit a very low percent chance and he missed a very high percent chance. So I think we're even now. What hack can we get? Already said it, but I clicked anyways. Crit a chance, disorientates, reinforcements. Yeah, we're not going to take those options. This here should trigger the supplies. Yep. 12 supplies is good. Very good. And we're very close to the crates. Hoppite gets the kill. We're moving back up. And I mentioned already we're under immense time pressure with the size of the map, so no rest for the wicked. Every soldier can carry one crate. Full cover. Let's kill the drone. That's good. We'll get the trooper and ignore the sector it for now well okay never mind in which case amplify free action nice hit amplify is so good Okay, that was pack number two, right? No, one, two, three. That was pack number three. We already know that we can go to here without triggering. There is one last pack. Open close. That is three here. Oh no, it costs one action, right? No, it does not cost one. Okay, Hogbite advances. 
seven more turns. Where do we need to be in seven turns? Okay, that's a brutal distance. Well, if you say so. It's not explosive or anything, right? Good, could go. That is number three, and that crate is number four. Just double checking here in terms of no soldier can carry more than one crate if that is the case. Got it. Move Done. Eyes peeled. I I'm trusting you here. I can't carry more. Here I come. I've got it. Um, move him here. We're using this turn to reload. Okay, I'll go. I'm ready. Overwatching. I am watching. Tired of waiting around. On the yep, I figured that that would happen. Good to see that some things never really change. Copy that. Got it. Good hit. Fantastic. Good. Got a stock. Free amplify. What's the chance here? Not too bad. That one would work as well. But let's see if this is a kill already. Reloading just because we are low on ammunition and I want to make sure that we still can suppress if needed. No more advent. That was the last of them. Just double checking if we find any extra supplies here. Answer is no. So we're Rushing towards the exit. I'll go quickly. We'll do. Got it. No more civilians in range that we could try to get a couple of supplies from. Alright, tough. 
But we got a bit of supplies out of it, which is great. Every little uh, drop counts. Uh, we killed uh, the enemies, which is even better, so 10 is a nice uh, pack. And on top of it, we got the smash and grab, which will hopefully get us even more supplies. Fantastic, Hogbite uh, could get one of uh, these uh, here or take 35% uh, less damage against attacks uh, within four tiles. That is helpful because he will at, at parts be attacked. Bash is adjacent enemy with your shield doing some damage, knocking them back uh, two tiles as a free action. Shield bash, free action, two uh, turns cooldown. Can target enemy in adjacent tiles or diagonals. Well, which is good because I can move up with him, then bash the enemy out uh, from off cover and attack another enemy. Stun strike is has a hit, uh, chance plus focus level, that's good. 100% uh, chance to stun the target if successful which is great and it does not end the templar's turn wow two really good abilities here i think i'll take the stun strike i want shield bash as well so we need to get more ap but that's a great ability all right, we got Elliot here. And what are his abilities? So, Blade Master. Eh. Uh, that is good. Shadow Step. Does not trigger Reaction Fire. More Dodge. Untouchable when killed someone. Attacks any enemy within blue movement range with your Combat Knife. Does not end the turn. Okay. Okay, so this one here is... Hmm. Good question. What do we want to do with him? I don't want to always use the same build. Uh, we could go for an Overwatch-centric build. I think he had relatively good... Uh, mm, before we do that, let's just double check. So. We got enough supplies, that's great. Alarium core, suppressor, fantastic. So guess what, GTS, there you go. We're still clearing. Um, let's view our soldiers. <clears throat> so he does have decent aim, I like that. But he does not have any Overwatch related perks. Matter of fact, Untouchable is quite the opposite. It is a fantastic perk for an aggression build. Uh, combined with Lightning Slash means he can move into positions he's not triggering Overwatch. All of that almost screams uh, mobile slash active uh, mid to frontliner. He even gets Serial, which is just absolutely bonkers. Really good uh, skills. Uh, the one that doesn't really fit it is uh, st uh, the Steady Hands uh, thing, because that um, does not uh, fit the box of Steady. You know what? Um, you are in the Prime team, aren't you? So you, my friend, are... Uh, Bond made Hitoki Karamoko. Who's that? Um, that's Taxia. Yeah, that's team number two. I wish you could color code them here on uh, so that you have a have a better overview. Anyway, Sane is in the prime team, and that means he can anyways get multiple abilities according to our own rules. So. 
I might uh, do center mass and combatives. We'll start with combative. Are we doing that? Yeah, we're starting with combative and we'll go to center mass uh, later. He can get multiple skills anyways. Drank's prime team uh, already got far in the hole. Now we got either bigger booms. Uh, standard rockets can inflict more damage. 50% chance for extra damage, which is great. But I already told you, first of all, we can get multiple skills per level, but I already told you that um, we're going to see a lot defensive utilization. So I personally value things like fortify incredibly uh, high. Here's the deal, and I tell you why exactly. So that's a free action, all right? Has a five turns cooldown, that really does not matter that much because uh, typically you only need it once, and when you need it, you know that you need it. And it gets 20 defense. Here's the thing. Defense by far is the most valuable stat, period. A superior defense um, PCS gives you up to 10 uh, defense. It is directly hit chance related. So yes, dodge is nice and reduces criticals to normals and then normals to grazing and grazing to uh, no damage. But the real kicker is not getting hit in the first place. This here is almost low cover by itself. It sticks with everything else. So if you, if you um, put um, topics like uh, defensive vision, which he in this case he doesn't have, um, but if you had that theoretically, uh, then it would even stack. So say you see five, six enemies, uh, that already is 15 defense uh, from, uh, from that skill. You add 20 defense on top of that, that's 35. You're sitting at uh, full cover. That's another uh, 35 sides, so minus 70% hit chance from the enemies. There's literally not much that uh, they can do. And you're, on, uh, you're only going to get grazing hits at best. So super good. And therefore we're going to take that, not even uh, a question. Biggest booms are not bad either. Like I said, I'm not that convinced about uh, the whole flamethrower thing, but we are going to have one flamethrower focus build because I want to see if it is any good but it needs to be someone with high mobility. So uh, let's see, Hail of Bullets, fantastic. If you get um, at least one kill during your turn, automatically hunker down, that goes nice with Fortify. Uh, full kit, uh, that is good with the with utility items, which he will have a lot. Holder targeting is good as a support, uh, since we want to play him as a fire support that goes very well with rapid uh, fire and run and gun is generally an awesome ability for technicians. So he has rolled very well um, equally. Uh, like what I'm seeing, we got uh, eight five still wounded, but uh, we are already infiltrating with a few more. So things are going good in Saiken's uh, kingdom. Let's get another mission. Pre-captured rebels, uh, we got resistance personal, resistance personal, resistance personal, that's good. We need a lot of them. And we are going to go in with the A team, who are currently already, um, no, 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 we're going to go in uh, with these guys here, they did very well. Uh, that's A team number two, so to speak. Good, but we do have more that we can bring. We can bring more to this mission. So how about we're adding you? Rescue Resistance Contact is not giving us any corpses, so that's unfortunately not working. But um, could we get another... No, that's pushing it too far. Although, maybe not. Seven to nine. Do we want an additional pack? And hmm, 
No, we don't want it because they also changed uh, the experience. And the way that it uh, works is this is the amount of experience that you get. Nine plus a bit of vision experience. And it's divided by the number of uh, people. Although, I must say, uh, one more um, also would mean a bit more experience. But I think it's the baseline experience. Not 100% sure. I won't, don't want to talk out of context here. So I think they still stick with uh, 7 to 9 experience and it's then divided by 6 people. But point being, if you take larger uh, squads, that does not automatically mean you're getting more experience. I think it is cap. But, um, hmm. You know what? I'll go with the safe route. This here is more than enough as, uh, as a team. I'll just briefly equip everybody. Okay, ready. So, uh, by the way, do we have extra funds? Uh, I think yes. Might as well use uh, them. Because armor penetration is super, super helpful at the beginning. And just having that uh, ability once once max uh, show up to go through two armor uh, is very good so we got our damage dealers cover removal uh, support and frontline and we even uh, will over infiltrate everything above 100 um, will slightly help us the next break point is 125 not 115 but there are a couple of things uh, that uh, over infiltration will help the chance of reducing reaction uh, from enemies, for instance, on legendary, when you trigger a pot, um, you do have an 38% chance that they will have reaction shots and every single percent here reduces it. So we would uh, go down to 23% in that uh, case, which isn't uh, bad. And there are a couple of other things, uh, detection radius, um, yada, yada, yada. So uh, slide over the infiltration is not negative it is not negative also the way that um, missions work in the background is once you have quote unquote fished the entire pond there are no further missions that would be spawning and then basically um, yeah there is uh, you're, you're not missing out on continuing to infiltrate because that particular region will not have any more uh, missions so we got another there is something in the air um, crit on combat rush I like that find elite recover that that sounds good uh, how about we're taking the B team which is oh shit uh, okay I see This here is no longer the B team. That's now the B team, uh, which means we are now going for the C team, which will get this nice uh, little uh, mm, uh, icon. Good, C team. Um, before we're doing anything, Let's clear the squad and this is C team, squad select. What do we want in the C team? Okay, Gunner plus Shinobi. That's a good start. Cover removal with the technician. Still good. And Aaron. Can I, uh, add to the mix and Hunk can come in. Five uh, looks like a good team to me. That, 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 and that. Fabulous. So couple of uh, things. Aaron, you are a rookie, so let's give you a color like a rookie. Typical rookie color. 
and let me fill out all of that all right so i built another set of um, armor penetrating rounds uh, because walker will be our heavy weapons guy and hopefully he'll hit good and hard and other than that we got a couple of uh, rookies uh, this team is decent the only thing that i mislike so far is their inability to uh, move fast so uh, that's a bit of a bummer so need to make him much darker so that he stands out and last but not least we need to get to become a little bit uh, brighter not that bright but that bright okay cool color codes fixed C team is on the way and let's get a solid infiltration out of it <coughs> four to five is a good team size uh, at least that is my experience We failed uh, the mission and he mentioned we succeeded in our task yeah no we did not so failure ambush superior PCS would be really good let's do that I like the resistance mech as well that's so tempting how many days do we have left over oh we can do both okay cool Continuing to scan. See, we have uh, finished fishing in that pond. So there's nothing uh, popping up. Which means for now we're going over and I'm trying to <clears throat> fish for yet another mission. Got one. Hack the workstation, get an intel package. Uh, that is a good mission. Getting faint traces of a signal coming through. Someone on the ground is trying to reach us. I can't make it out. Keep your eyes peeled for possible contacts down there. Good. We need a new squad. Uh, these uh, are the is the D squad. You know what? Why not? Let's just stick with uh, that. We could have given them cooler names, but this is kind of logical. Um, or we're calling them um, Space Wolves. I like that. I will rename the squads real quick. All right, listen. I felt uh, we might do it a little bit more Warhammer 40k style. Not that this has anything to do with 40k, but uh, you can't deny that the chapters are absolutely uh, intriguing. And it also in, uh, creates a bit of user enga uh, engagement. Let me know what your favorite chapter is if you're a Warhammer 40k fan. So for now, my favorite chapter are the Grey Knights, and that is why that is going to be the main team. Imperial Fists, because this looked like a fist, and we got the Blood Angels as C team, and now the Space Wolves. Now, let's uh, assign soldiers into the Space Wolves. Sam here looks like one, Andrew looks like one, Frodo looks like one, and Tarek looks like one. Select those, and we're almost getting up to 200%. That's a bit much. The problem uh, now is uh, the only other two rookies are marked as uh, Psy rookies. We can wait 20 hours and basically reassign another team or we're going to do this mission here with only rookies. 
We will be very, very heavily infiltrated. We can get the 200% bonus. Um, you know what? Space wolves might st uh, need to stand on their own two legs. So that's now 200%. I think one flashbang is more than enough. We'll need damage, lots thereof. And grenades are a safe way of getting that. And to be fair, this might be a good mission. We definitely get intel out of it. And we can always start it a bit earlier. So the Grey Knights, formerly formerly known as A Team, are almost done. And now uh, we need to launch uh, that one. You know what, since it's already over 30 minutes, uh, we are going to cut it short here, but there are going to be a lot of missions the next time. I thank you for your viewership, thanks for watching, really appreciate that, and uh, if you enjoy the playthrough, then leave a comment down below for the Emperor, and uh, see you soon, bye bye.